this is what Nicky Quaid is looking at when he's uh, striking a ball out the field. Obviously, this is just one moment in time. It can be different at, at other times. But if you look across the line there, that Cork forward line is all in such a small area there. They're not really covering back in front of the Limerick forwards who've done that thing where you fold into the middle and then there's just acres of space either side. And when the ball goes short, they're not pressing up either. So they're just caught in no man's land doing nothing really, I would say, which is why Limerick were able to go short 14 times and 14 times collected. And then they were able to do something with it because there was no pressure either coming at them or back to where the ball should be going. Contrast this with Patrick Collins. Again, just one moment in time. He has four along the full back line but and he can play it to them. But then you have to have good lines of hard running to actually puncture out the field and, you know, get on the front foot. But if you look at the other end of the field, the forwards are just spread out lovely. If you're a back, Richie, you're absolutely loving that. Absolutely, Shane. And I, you saw in the first clip you done there of the, the Cork forwards, like how in sync were those six guys? So to go back to the, the previous one. So like how, like look at look at where they are. Like they, that's where they're being told to stand. Do you know, it's not, it's not thinking on your feet and it's not, you know, covering the space or trying to kind of close the gap between the, the Limerick full back line and, and the full forward line. Like that's so static where, where they are. And like, that's a dream for Nicky Quaid, to be honest, because like he can pick out his men. And then obviously Limerick have the runners coming off the shoulder and they're well able to break the tackle because they're big men. Whereas you look at the other one, like you're right, it is, it's it's a defender's dream. Um, but so I can't understand, you know, Limerick can do it both ways. They can go short and go long. You know, we saw at the weekend Garrod Hegarty caught caught a couple of balls under the puck out. You know, Keen Lynch is very good in the air. So they have that in their armour. Whereas Cork if the short game is not working, they've no ball winners on the half hour line, unfortunately. Do you know, Shane Barrett's a good hurler, Seamus Harnady is very good, Connor Cahillan. But these guys aren't 6'2, 6'3, or 6'4. They've no target men up there. So really they can't deviate from the short passing game. Because, you know, as I said, the likes of Dermot Burns, um, you know, Declan Hannon, these guys are going to absolutely wipe up high balls if, if Cork end up going long. 